It's week five of the SCAC Player of the Week nominations. I'm Rachel Given with Colorado College's Lizzie Counts, our Offensive Player of the Week for Volleyball. Thanks for joining me today, Lizzie. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we have so much to talk about. You first got another SCAC Offensive Player of the Week, your third one of your season, and now your second ABCA National Player of the Week. How does that feel? Um, it feels really good, but every time I get an award, it's the same thing where it's more of a team award than anything because as a setter, I have to rely on the passers to get those digs to me, and then I have to rely on my hitters to terminate. So if anything, it's more of a team award. Since you think of it as a team award, how does this boost team morale? Um, I think it helps out because everybody knows how important they are to the team, and I think that through getting these awards and getting the recognition that we all deserve, everybody understands that people are starting to appreciate what we're doing and they understand how hard we're working in practice. And also, it indicates like how hard we push each other in practice, because um, every single week I have to fight for my position, and every single week everybody's pushing me to be the best that I can be. Speaking of practice, you're helping Colorado have the best season in program history. What are you guys working on in practice to keep that, keep that up? We've been working a lot on hitting deep corner shots, and I think that's helped the hitters a lot, get a lot of consistent kills. Um, in the area of setting, we've been working on really consistent ball locations and pushing tempo, which makes it more difficult for the other team's middle hitters to keep up with what we're doing, um, try to put our hitters in good spots, good positions to make big kills. In talking about this past weekend's games, um, let's talk about the Southwestern five-set game. Um, you guys were down by at least five points in the fifth set, but you specifically helped set up seven consecutive digs to your teammates. What was going right for you during that set, and how did you guys overcome the pressure to get the, to get the win? Um, our assistant coach, Vanessa, during the fourth set, after we lost pretty bad to Southwestern in the third, told us that these are the type of games where you find out what type of team you are. Um, and we decided that we weren't the type of team who just folds under pressure like that. We decided that no matter what the score, no matter who's winning the majority of the sets, that we were going to go out and fight as hard as we could. And I think that after getting behind 5-10 in the fifth set, we just realized that this was our time to like prove what we are as a program and what we are as a team. Awesome. Well, thanks for sitting down and talking volleyball with me. We're going to move on to my game where if you don't remember, I ask you some fun questions and you give me some answers to show us your personality. Are you ready? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. What's your favorite way to celebrate a win? Ooh, I think just going back into the locker room right after and talking about it with the team. Like, we're all so excited for each other, for the program, and having that little debrief after the game is my favorite part. And speaking of the team, who do you think is the best dancer on the team? Oh, Micah. Easily. Easily. Micah Steffi Bean has the best dance moves out of anybody on the team. Okay, I'm going to tell Micah now. <laughs> and lastly, what are you currently watching on Netflix? Ooh, I've been watching, honestly re-watching for probably the sixth to seventh time Parks and Recreation, which is my favorite show, or one of my favorite shows in addition to like 30 Rock in the Office. Perfect. Well, thanks again for sitting down and congrats on all of your awards this week. Thank you.